Hey everyone, Jonathan here again. Um, it's just me and the screw again. I love you, screw. He's all Phillips heady and awesome and stuff. It's great. But uh, yeah, not a lot to talk about with the haunt today. Uh, once again, more cleaning in and ready for that shoot tomorrow. Once the shoot's done, we should be back inside the haunt, full tilt, and really knocking things out in there. We're going to have more updates on that front. But uh, yeah, so that's all we can talk about with the haunt work. Usually we do this type of cleaning at the end of the haunt season, but this time around, we're having to do it in the beginning of the shoot to accommodate, but that's okay. We're always rearranging the deck chairs on the USS Bernie Baxter. On that note, however, a lot, um, a lot else going on. Something I want to talk about today, though, is douchebags and the unfortunate reality I have as a haunter. Um, I admit openly that I don't understand people. I openly admit that. I, most days I feel as if I'm some kind of alien visitor just roaming the planet, gawking at this weird human race that I somehow blend in with. It's very bizarre, and I don't get it. And one of the things I really don't get is this tendency in how every year someone comes through our haunt, which we spend thousands of dollars on and hundreds of hours, to put on a free show for the neighborhood. They come through and they intentionally destroy it, or they intentionally try to destroy it at the very least. It always blows my mind, but it always happens. Uh, two years ago, they actually succeeded, at least to a very large degree. They came through, they tore down about four dummies, um, a bunch of other stuff. And even though the monetary damage was very, very low, it made the haunt unsafe to pass through. It was going to require some pretty major construction work to get things back together. So we had to shut down. We closed early, and because of that, one of our regular visitors, including a very little girl who loves our haunt and comes through every year, couldn't come. They came through. They showed up about ten minutes after it happened, and were very, very disappointed. So yeah, douchebags, you ruined the little girl's Halloween. I hope you feel good about it. Last year they came through a little bit earlier in the night. I don't think it was the same group. I think it was a different group. But the group that inevitably would be the one came through. And last year we learned our lesson from the previous year. Someone was within arm's reach. The minute they started deliberately trying to break stuff and tear stuff down, they were escorted out of the premises. Yes, we had to do some repair work, but we also learned another lesson there. And that is we keep all the tools needed to repair the haunt handy. And we have always done this because you always have the issue of people who get scared and bump into things and crash into things. And that's okay. But we typically try to avoid, you know, having to do major repair on the fly. But yet you have to have the drill, the screws, stable gun, etc. All that stuff handy just in case things do break. And inevitably they do. So we were ready. We were only missed about two minutes. And we went on, had a great night. Everyone had a good time other than the four people who uh, we had to escort out. And by the way, if we have to escort you out of the haunt and you don't leave the property immediately, we will call the police. It's that simple. We will not hesitate to call the police and tell them and show them the video footage we've recorded of you intentionally destroying our property. Remember, security cameras are in use. And they're not there just for great YouTube clips later. If you destroy our stuff, we will sue you. We will take action against you, both criminal and civil, as appropriate. So be warned. We don't mind if you're scared and accidentally break things. Heck, that happens. We had a guy snap a 2x4 with his shoulder one year. It was pretty kick-ass, actually. But he was scared, and I understand that. That happens. But if you go through maliciously trying to destroy things, I will make you pay. And that is a personal promise. So please, come through, have fun, have a good time, and don't be a douchebag if you don't want to get sued or don't want a free ride in a cop car. It's that simple. Until tomorrow, this is Jonathan Bailey, signing off.